Well, Liam, welcome back to the training this week. How have you been coping in lockdown and spending that time with your family? But hopefully you enjoyed it in some in a weird way. Yeah, to be honest with you, I really enjoyed it. Um, it was a nice break, you know. In the normal off seasons, you get maybe four or five weeks, and then you're straight into running. And b before you know it, the time's gone. Uh, but this has been a good period of time. Spent a lot of time with family, um, and also get some good work in as well. You don't often get long periods of time to get the fundamental work in. So I've really enjoyed it. It's been positive for myself. That's a sort of human side of football, isn't it? And I guess for you as well. I guess hopefully there's been a bit of a chance for some focused recovery because I know you've been really played through uh, pain and things in the last sort of couple of seasons, really. But so hopefully you've had a little bit of a rest as well amongst that hard work. Yeah, for sure. Um, it feels like it's been season after season. Um, so this has been a good chance to rest, recover. Um, I've got some decent work in, as I said. Uh, worked on a few different areas, um, strengthened up the injured areas, if you like, and uh, I feel ready and feel good to go. Mm. And have you missed uh, elements of this being back in training there? Yes, I have, yeah. Uh, I've not seen the boys. Uh, it's been difficult. You know, people that are in a first-team dressing room, they know, you know, the banter and how it is. So to be away from it for pretty much two months, it's been difficult. But, you know, we're slowly coming back in now in small groups and hopefully we'll get some good news and we'll be back together full time. And hopefully before long as well, playing for, for three points, because that's probably one of the things that footballers live for, isn't it, really? I guess we missed out as much as anything. Yeah, so I've done a couple of Q&As uh, over the last eight weeks or so. And people say, what's the main thing you've missed? It's just the competitive side. Um, we want to get out there, compete and hopefully win some games. You and the boys, it was announced at the start of the week, taking the wage deferral. It's a, it's really great that it's been done and, and, uh, and I guess it's been a bit of a complex process that's, that's now in the finalised. Yeah, well, uh, obviously, as you know, it's my first year as captain. Um, I guess you could kind of put it like Boris as well. Uh, it's his first year in and he's got a lot thrown at him. But I feel like we've, we've handled it well. Uh, you know, we've got a big squad, so I had to speak to every individual. Uh, different nationalities as well, so you have to explain exactly what the situation is. Um, the, the reasons why we need to do this, uh, how it's going to help the club financially. And yeah, I managed to speak to the boys. Obviously, you've got the legal side as well, but the club have been fantastic. Um, I've had a lot of calls between myself and Nigel Howe. He's been really good. Um, and eventually we got to, got to the decision um, and I'm really pleased we could do that and hopefully it can help the club. And another thing we saw on, on social media, you and uh, you've been like an ambassador, if you like, for UK Mass Force. Tell us a little bit about what that, what that is and, and how it's come about as well. Yeah, no, it's brilliant. Uh, my father-in-law, um, got in contact with the charity um, and he had a conversation with me that was looking for ambassadors all up and down the country. Uh, had a really good chat with them. Um, they're doing some fantastic work. They can get their hands on PPE. Um, it's just a case of donations and I felt uh, with my decent following on social media I could put the word out there and over the next days and weeks I'm going to be doing um, different raffles, um, phone calls, video calls, basically whatever it takes to raise some money within reason and of course just just picking on these last sort of hopefully what is going to become towards the end of the season now back in training and uh, it's kind of a bit like it's got a pre-season feel hasn't it at the moment in it's nice weather and, uh, and and hopefully building up towards that little set of games and what would you like to achieve in those games um, well to start with it is a bit like pre-season uh, but we had training plans throughout um, spoke to the manager obviously we don't see all the group but everybody's come back in good shape um, the four of us that I've been able to train with the, the tempo looks good so hopefully when we do get the nod to go into um, contact we can really step it up a gear then moving into the games it's just about getting a good start this is a mini season um, it's been said numerous times before there'll be some very strange results with what's going on so why can't we be the team to to start off well and then putting ourselves in a position just to see uh, we've got to be positive so let's hit it head on i'm sure you'll, you'll miss having fans in the stadium and hopefully it's not forever that goes on but you know you know it's, it's likely we're going to be playing without them for a little while that's a an odd prospect isn't it but one you have to live with yeah um i'd be lying if i said it's not frustrating uh, and it, it will be odd um, i've watched the, the german games over the last couple of weekends but what i will say is i hope that they, they come to an agreement where all games can be shown live um, i feel like fans deserve that um, at every club at every level so hopefully we can do that um, and then yeah, sooner they're back in the better um, and I really do look forward to that day when they are back in because it will be a great atmosphere. Thanks for your time.